When it comes to video games, I'm kind of an OG, which means I saw firsthand the industry changing throughout the years. And I gotta say, we've come a long way since the dawn of full motion video games, with classics like Night Trap for the Sega CD. Not only the technology got better, but also the storytelling and acting, with more and more titles pushing for high standards of quality. Such is the case of Mia and the Dragon Princess, a game I was invited to check by the developers, Wales Interactive. This action-adventure interactive movie follows the protagonist, Mia, a barmaid who lives an ordinary life until a mysterious woman that can't speak English shows up at the bar. Soon a group of thugs appears and chaos ensues, leading to Mia and a few others being on the run, fighting to survive. As expected, throughout the game you make a series of choices that will lead your adventure and guide you to one of ten possible endings. Your choices will also affect the character's attributes and behavior, so every choice you make matters, even if at first it doesn't seem like it's guiding the plot. Usually you have a limited amount of time to make your choices, but if you're the type of person who doesn't like to be rushed, Wayo's Interactive has got your back. Just like in 10 Dates, here you also have the streamer mode, which pauses the action during those moments to allow you plenty of time to make up your mind. As the name suggests, it's also very handy whenever you want to stream the game and share the experience with your community. Contrary to the last FMV video game I've reviewed here on the channel, Mia and the Dragon Princess features a lot of combat, which I actually think is the best thing about it. The fight choreography is top-notch, put together by world-renowned fight coordinator Marcus Shakeshaft, who worked for major projects like Wonder Woman, Harry Potter and the Deadly Hollows, Guardians of the Galaxy and Game of Thrones. It also features fight stuns by Taekwondo instructor and content creator Aaron Gasser, aka the Ginger Ninja Trickster. As for the cast, the game employs the talents of veterans of the genre and even includes the legendary Paul McGann, who you might know as the Doctor from a small TV show called Doctor Who. Maybe your average fighting game fan is not exactly the target audience for this type of project, but I for one enjoy them, and if you agree with me, you're probably gonna have a good time with Mia and the Dragon Princess. The story is intriguing, the acting is for the most part pretty good, and the combat scenes are truly impressive. What more can you expect? I play the Steam version of Mia and the Dragon Princess, but the game is also out on mobiles and all the major consoles, including last generations PS4 and Xbox One. So check it out if you're curious and let me know if you enjoyed the video. We might continue to reveal things like this sparingly or make it a more common occurrence. It's up to you. For now, this has been a Player, and I'll see you guys later.